Republicans on a Senate panel voted today to table the bill to continue Medicaid expansion in Montana. But as Mike Dennison reports, that's certainly not the last word on one of the biggest bills in this legislature. The Senate Public Health Committee listened to an hour of testimony on House Bill 658 with almost all of it in favor of Medicaid expansion. A doctor who does, um, who cares for cancer patients spoke on a panel about a year ago and he said, I will always see these people. But now, thanks to Medicaid expansion, I'm seeing them when I can do good. The House last week approved the bill, which continues the $700 million a year program that provides health coverage to 96,000 low-income adults in the state. Yet when it came time for the Senate committee to vote on the bill Friday, Republican Senator Jason Small of Busby quickly moved to table the measure, and all five of his fellow Republicans on the panel joined him, making it a 6-4 vote to kill House Bill 658. GOP committee members had peppered sponsor Ed Buttery with tough questions during the hearing, including why the legislature should continue the program when a ballot measure to do the same was voted down in November. Can you help me or help the committee with some line of constitutional reasoning that will help us justify voting against the will of the people on this issue? I certainly have not seen uh, the people that you're talking about that say that this state should not have the program. I don't know how better to answer that other than uh, we have seen great support in recent polls for Medicaid expansion. But the committee vote doesn't mean the bill is dead. Later Friday, the full Senate transferred the bill to a friendlier committee, financing claims, where it will be heard on Monday. Senator Small also told MTN News that he supports the bill and intends to carry it when it comes to the Senate floor. Confused? Don't be. Despite the parliamentary moves Friday, there's little doubt this bill is coming to the Senate floor, where it should pass, and eventually arrive at Governor Bullock's desk for his signature. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Federal government pays for 90% of that program's costs.